in most cases using value modes such as percents or by first parameter does the trick. In more complex situations, one can exploit the bank's mode to get various custom units. But sometimes there's a different possibility. In my case, I have two delays in series and the delay of both is controlled using a single knob. The problem is, if the first delay is, say, 100 milliseconds and the second is the same, then the resulting delay is 200 milliseconds. Using by first parameter would display half the actual delay. Using banks mode and interpolating the value wouldn't work either, because the delay is using some sort of transformation, which is neither linear nor logarithmic. So I need a hack. And it's surprisingly simple. Let me learn the delay of the disabled tap for the first delay. Why? It's disabled, so it will be useless. Yes, the multi-parameter won't control anything, but we will exploit it to get the correct units. The functional delays are using range of 10 milliseconds to 1000 milliseconds. So this dummy delay length will go from 20 milliseconds to 2000 milliseconds. I need to make it the first parameter of our multi-parameter and use the by first parameter value mode. That's all. Nice hack, right? See you next time.